It's super of your Aunt Felicity to invite us down to Crompton Marsh for the weekend, Ottilie. How long has she owned Bullrush Inn? For simply ages. She says she enjoys the slow pace of life out here. I hope you won't find it too boring. Hurry, Rupert! It's only a quick stop! Whoa! Ooh. Wait! Rupert! Thank you! Yoo-hoo! Ottilie! Auntie Felicity! This is my friend, Rupert. Welcome to Crompton Marsh, Rupert. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, my pleasure. There's always room at the Bulrush Inn for my favorite niece and her friends. I only hope you youngsters don't find things too slow around here. <laughs> Not a chance. Miss Felicity. So very sorry. A mere miscalculation on my part. Cast off the moorings, Rupert. Hey! Two new guests for the inn, I see. Business must be picking up. Splendid. We are not guests. I'm Aunt Felicity's niece, Ottoline, and this is my friend, Rupert. Oh, how unfortunate. One certainly can't run a hotel without guests now. Can one? Speaking of business, have you reconsidered my more than generous offer? <sighs> I told you before, Mr. Grummidge, I'm not interested in selling. We'll see about that. I take it Mr. Grummidge wants to buy the Bull Rush Inn. How could he think you would even consider selling? To people like Silas Grummidge, everything boils down to profit and loss. Bull Rush Inn is not just a business. It's my home. Hello, Mrs. Muskrat. The little ones are doing fine, I see. I just have to stop here and pick up a few supplies. Ready with the rope, Rupert? Hello, Winston. Miss Felicity, what a nice surprise. Makes my day when you call in. And who are your two charming companions? Do I detect a certain family resemblance in this young lady? Yes, this is my niece, Ottoline, and her friend, Rupert. They've come up for the weekend. Oh, hello there, Winston. And how's business today? Aha! Just what I'm looking for. A nice large scarecrow to keep the birds off my vegetable patch. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe, Phoebe, how many times have I told you to get a new pair of glasses? That's not a scarecrow you have there. <laughs> Although he'd certainly scare the birds away. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. My name's Rupert. I apologize for that little mistake. No offense meant, Rupert. No offense. Now, let's see. What else did I need? Rupert, could you get me six bolts from that barrel over there? And Ottilie, two boxes of nails, please. I hate to ask, Winston, but it seems that with all the problems at the inn lately... Now, now, don't you worry, Felicity. I'll just add it to the bill. Your word is good enough for me. Is your aunt in some kind of trouble? Nothing she's told us about. Well, ta-ta! Excellent service as usual, Winston. Yes, Winston. As usual, excellent service. <laughs> I'd think twice before staying here if I were you. First the bed collapses, then the lights go on and off. But no running water? Well, that's just too much. We demand a full refund. Come along, dear. Oh, dear. No one wants to stay in an old ruin. I'm sure it can't be that bad. I'm afraid it is. 
The old place seems to be falling down around my ears. No matter how hard I try, I just can't keep up with all the problems. Tosh, tosh, Felicity, my dear. Don't let a few lily-livered deserters upset you. A little hardship builds character, you know. No backbone, that's their trouble. Thank you for your support, Brigadier. Ottoline, Rupert, I'd like you to meet... Brigadier General Monty Carruthers Smythe, retired, at your service. Off birding again, Brigadier? Indeed, indeed. A bird in the bush is worth two in the hand to a dedicated bird watcher like me, you know? <laughs> now then, I'll get my toolbox and things will be back under control in no time. Strange. It almost looks as if this stair has been... Ah! Rupert! Ottoline! <gasps> Kelly! I need your help! The wrench! Toolbox! Turn it! Turn it! <sighs> I'm afraid this won't last long. I'll need to go to the store and get a proper clamp. Ottoline and I can go for you. That would be a big help, Rupert. Make sure you stay on the canals and footpaths. There are bogs and sinkholes all over the marsh. We will. Are you sure you have enough supplies here, Oscar? I didn't expect to see you two back so soon. We're here to get a clamp for the drain pipe. Uh-oh. The plumbing again? Yes. Aunt Felicity's even lost some guests because of it. Oh, well, Winston, it looks like I won't be needing all this fishing tackle after all. I'm Oscar, the local fishing guide. I was supposed to take your aunt's guests out fishing. Oh, what a shame. Here you are. This should do the trick. Thank you. Bye now. Sure hope your aunt can get her problems sorted out. Tell her to let me know if there's any way I can help. We will. Thank you. Aunt Felicity's run of bad luck seems to be affecting everyone. Yes, they all count on her to bring tourists to the marsh. I wonder if... Ah! Help! Help! Phoebe! What's wrong? It, it's terrible! Horrible! Big eyes are glowing! I'm awning and I'm roaring! B -b 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 Monster! <gasps> what is it? Careful, Rupert! really does need new glasses. Come on ahead, you two. The coast is clear. Here's your monster, Phoebe. Ooh, what about that horrible moaning? Just marsh gas. The hollow trunk is acting like a megaphone. But what's causing that glow? It's foxfire. At least that's what we marsh folk call it. It's a type of fungus that glows in the dark. I should have recognized it, but I suppose I just panicked. How embarrassing. Oh, never mind, Phoebe. It startled me, too. And it is getting dark. In fact, we'd better get back so my aunt doesn't worry. I'm terribly sorry for putting you both through so much trouble. No trouble at all, Phoebe. We're always happy to go on a monster hunt. Dreaming. But what was that noise? Rupert, you heard it too? It made the whole inn shake. <gasps> oh no, I'm ruined. Oh, it isn't bad enough that the old building is falling apart. Now even Mother Nature is working against me. I just hope Grummidge doesn't change his mind when he sees this roof. Auntie Felicity, don't tell me you're thinking of selling. Ottoline and I will have this tidied up in no time. It's not just the mess. With no paying guests, I'll never be able to repair the roof. I'm sure your neighbors will help. Winston, Oscar and the others have been too kind already. And besides, they need an inn that can attract tourists to the marsh. And how many guests would be crazy enough to stay at an inn with no roof? Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, Brigadier. At least you haven't deserted me. Never. Now, chin up, old girl. Bound to be a silver lining and all that. Yoo-hoo! I just heard news travels fast on the marsh. Oh, dear. It's terrible. 
Let me help you clean up. Oh! Why, you cheeky little scamp! Who are you talking to? There's a young muskrat hiding under here. On your feet now, lazy little thing. There's plenty of work to be done. <laughs> I'm afraid he won't be much help. <laughs> oh, Winston is right about these glasses. Looks like it wasn't the storm that brought the tree tumbling down after all. But that would mean... Sabotage! Look! A trail! It doesn't make sense. Who would be trying to ruin poor Felicity? Everyone on the marsh loves her. She's always there to help when someone's in trouble. Looks like the trail goes right through these willows. It's a building site. There's someone in the trailer. Phoebe. Could you stay with the boat in case we need to make a fast getaway? All right, Rupert. But be careful. <laughs> Silas Grummage! Bull Rush Inn is as good as ours. Felicity just called to say she's ready to sell. I tell you, that tree idea of yours was, shall we say, a crushing success? <laughs> By this time tomorrow, Bull Rush Inn will be nothing more than a pile of kindling, and construction of Grummage's marina will be well underway. So that's why he wants Bull Rush Inn. Relax. I'm going over right now to sign the papers. We've got to get back and warn Auntie. Whoa! Who's there? What are you two doing snooping around here? There are laws against trespassing, you know. There are laws against cheating people out of their homes, too. So, not only are you snoops, but you're eavesdroppers as well. Run! Oh! <gasps> I've got you now. Run, Rupert! Ha! This way! Get back here! Ah, ah. Wow! <laughs> Quicksand! <laughs> Just the place for a pair of nosy parkers. Careful now. The trick to quicksand is not to struggle. You can't build that marina. You'll flood everyone in the marsh out of house and home. And if you don't waste all your energy shouting, you just might keep your heads above water until somebody finds you. <laughs> if we don't stop Aunt Felicity from selling, the inn and the marsh will be lost forever. Right now, I'm more worried about the two of us being lost forever. <gasps> <gasps> Rupert, thank goodness I found you. Now, what has that nasty grummage done with poor Otterlene? Phoebe, we're over here! Rupert, is that you? Oh, dear. That does it. First thing tomorrow, I'm going into town for a new prescription. Hurry, Phoebe. There's no time to lose. I'm a very busy man, Miss Felicity. No time to read all the fine print. May as well sign and get it over with. After all, who else would buy a hotel with no roof? Wait! Stop! Don't sign! Ottoline, Rupert, what's the matter? I do apologize for the commotion, Mr. Well, really. What is going on? Auntie, you'd better look at this. I'd never have forgiven myself if all my friends in the marsh would have lost their homes, too. <sighs> But I'm afraid there's still the problem of a broken roof and no guests. <coughs> uh, Miss Felicity, you know I am an avid bird watcher, and, well, I happen to have a sizable nest egg put aside. I wonder, would you allow me to buy Bulrush Inn? Brigadier, why on earth would you? You can't run Of course, a... I would insist everything remain exactly as it is, with you, Miss Felicity, in charge of running things, while I would enjoy the benefit of always having a pleasant place to spend the summer. That would solve everything. Oh, Auntie, do say yes. I... I don't know how to thank you for such kindness, Brigadier. 
It is an honor to help you in your hour of need. And to celebrate, I think we'll throw a party and invite all the neighbors. Hurrah! <laughs> well done. I will draw up the necessary papers and we can sign them tonight. What do you mean, move the equipment into place? Those interfering little brats have ruined everything. How can I... Good news? Yes, yes, of course. I'll meet you at the usual place. Jolly good, jolly good. Helping with the preparations, I see. I'll be back soon. Just going to pop into the marsh and see if I can catch sight of the lesser spotted grebe before it migrates for the winter. Strange hour to go bird watching. I suppose the lesser spotted grebe must be nocturnal. No, they aren't nighttime creatures, Rupert. They don't migrate either. They stay here all winter. Why wouldn't the brigadier know that? Unless we have to find out what he's up to. It's getting dark. We'd better hurry or we'll lose him. We've lost him! Wait! Look over there! Faster, Rupert, before we lose sight of the lantern again! Come on! No time to lose! Looks like we've been barking up the wrong tree. Oh dear, it's my monster! We haven't been following the brigadier at all, but I could have sworn the light was moving. Me too! I suppose our eyes were playing tricks on us. Well, that's nothing new for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on! Look at this! Someone was here, and they stepped in the fox fire. This way! <gasps> it's the equipment from Grummage's camp. What's it doing here? This part of the marsh is Felicity's property. If my guess is right, we'd better get back to the inn. And fast! I'll tell you why on the way. You won't be telling anybody anything! <laughs> Look out! There, there, there really is a monster! <gasps> Phoebe, run! No one stands in Silas Grummage's way! Let's get out of here! This way! Hurry! Go, oh, Rupert! Quick set! Run! Oh, this is going to be too easy. I'll just scoop up this little problem. Rupert! While, Mr. Grummage, at least until the local police come for you. <laughs> <laughs> and to think the whole marsh may have been flooded if that Mr. Grummage had his way. It's all such a relief. And thanks to the Brigadier's kind offer, I'll finally be able to pay my bills at your store, Winston. Aunt Felicity! Well, there you are. I was afraid you were going to miss the party. I'm sorry, Felicity, but we have to interrupt your celebration. Silas Grummage was working with an accomplice. And if my suspicions are correct, the culprit is in this very room. <gasps> <laughs> Don't be silly. How could that be? Really, Rupert? We're all Felicity's friends. Not all. Someone has only been posing as a friend so they could sabotage Bullrush in. That someone met Grummage out on the marsh tonight, and whoever it was accidentally walked in some foxfire, which, as you all know, glows in the dark. After him! He's getting 
getting away! Not likely. Look! Help! Help! Looks like Crummage and his crony finally ran out of rope. <laughs> <laughs> You. Nothing like a little help from your friends, right, Auntie? That's right, Ottoline. And thanks again to the three of you for showing me who my true friends are. How can I ever repay you? Um, well, you could start by getting Phoebe new glasses. Uh, I've never seen such lumpy walls. 